Uh, James Donovan uh, here in Ballymo. Um, we're milking 86 cows this year on the one robot. Uh, we zero graze and uh, outside grazing as well. They have access to a paddock for 16 hours a day and we zero graze at night. There's 26 acres available to the cows, so it's roughly over an acre a day. This is our sixth year milking. We were sucklers and beef prior to that. We started with 80 heifers originally, um, so we milked 80 the first year. Second year we were on about 77, 78. We've done 90 on the third year and 85 and now we're on 86. Um, would be pushing it. We would have it maxed out at peak the whole time. So for those three months, it's, it's virtually, there's no free time on the system. But haven't had any major problems. We would have pushed out, say last year and the year previous, we would have pushed out uh, at peak, we would have been putting out about 2,500 a day. Anywhere from 2,350 to 2,500. In peak, yes, it's, pushing it but then when the peak is over the machine is isn't under pressure at all don't uh, take any notice when you're in it it's not it's it's basically it's just a machine that cuts the grass now we would find that we can make more use of slurry with zero grazing now we trail and chew the slurry in about every second time Every second round to zero grazing, and we try and put slurry into the ground. And we'd be cutting grass anywhere from 17 to 21 days. They have access to the paddock from four o'clock in the morning and they operate themselves throughout the day. It's basically out by day in for, say, from seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the evening until four o'clock in the morning. Taking in the zero grazing, I suppose if we put three hours into it, in the day. It's just totally ourselves, uh, bare odd days in the springtime. And that would be just when uh, cows would be calfing and that. As I say, we were sucklers here and uh, it was basically a, a calf or a suckler unit that was here. So we just had to knock out creep areas and put in cubicles. We start roughly around the end of March, because obviously we're not in the driest area and we would be working up until the early days of November. We can use more ground if need be and if we have too much grass we can take uh, it's easy to take it out of the zero graze block because it's clean you can mow it today if you were zero stuff that was ready for maybe getting a little bit too strong um, you can get it in and out in a day or two and it doesn't affect the rotation then